Perfect timing, Lester. I just started recording. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? It is Jago back again with another video. And today, we are doing my $200 million garage tour. The $200 million I spent on vehicles and maintenance. Last video was at like $160 million. And then I had to buy a few more cars. And uh, let me just get a few things uh, straightened up before we start. I'm not going to show all my hangar vehicles because there's not too many things you can customize about them. Like, there are some cool hangar vehicles, but I have quite a bit of money into that, and not a lot of the things are upgraded, as well as some of the weaponized vehicles, like the Kanjali tank from the facility. I'm not going to show that off, because everyone already knows what it looks like, but a $200 million garage tour is what I'm going to be giving you guys today, just showing off my cars for my garage. So let's give or take around 200 mil. I haven't spent too much, I think, on weaponized vehicles, so there should be quite a bit to show. But anyways, hopefully you guys do end up enjoying today's video. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's get ready, or let's, <laughs> let's get ready, we're already ready. Let's get started with this garage tour, and I'll see you guys at the first garage. All right, so here we are in office garage number one. Um, I don't know if my entire office is filled, but here is the uh, Truffate Thrax. Um, what is this thing? I don't even know what this thing is. The Tyrant. Oh, yeah, I actually do know the Tyrant. This is a very cool vehicle. I love the Tyrant. Uh, the Strider. Uh, what is this thing? This little uh, truck. What is this called? The Yosemite, the Drift Yosemite. Two of the F1 cars. Pretty cool cars. And uh, there is some more up top. Let me head up there real quick. Uh, this thing is the Landstalker, I think. One of the new pimp rides um, from one of the recent DLCs. Either Summer Special or K.O. Perico. This thing, uh, this is one of the newer vehicles. What is this thing called? BF Club. I was driving that around in my last, or a couple videos ago in the heist video. Uh, this thing, the Toyota Supra. It was, this is in real life, the Panabru, whatever the fuck it's called. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge car person, so I don't know what these cars are by heart in real life. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I don't even, what is this one called? The uh, Gauntlet Classic Custom. I, I kind of knew it was a Gauntlet Classic, but the headlights confused me a little bit. Uh, the Sovereign, very OG vehicle. Um, the Karakara, this uh, big old Raptor truck. Uh, a few videos ago, I parked it in the water, so I... <laughs> Call Moore's Mutual Insurance, pick that boy up. Uh, and here's a Shotaro, the uh, Tron bike, as people uh, mostly call it. I believe I have some more cars up top. This office garage was such a <laughs> such a good purchase. So many vehicles you can fit in here. And yeah, there is two F, three F1 cars. Wait, why is there a third one? Maybe I accidentally bought an extra one. Uh, these two aren't uh customized and so you'll notice some vehicles aren't customized because when i do these spending spree videos i don't always customize every single vehicle because i will just like fall in love with one for the video for the time being that and i did have to hit 200 million dollars worth of vehicles uh bought and customized so i had to buy like a couple little things here and there to hit that 200 million mark uh some other supercars or sports cars don't know tigon the Coke. Well, oh yeah, I remember buying this thing. This is part of the summer, uh, summer, summer special, I think. Yeah, this is a really cool vehicle. I like this a lot. Nice little uh, Corvette. Corvette. Uh, this thing. I think I remember buying this for the summer special. Probably didn't upgrade it. Um, and then the Beater Dukes. It's actually beatered up. Why? Okay, that's <laughs> that's a little weird. And I think I have some more spaces here in the office garage. Uh, so let's go check those out as well. So this. This right here is office garage number two. Um, I put a lot of my vehicles in the arena workshop, so this isn't filled up yet. I think I have a few extra in the office garage three on accident, so we'll double check that. And here's another Coquette, and here's another uh, MRS. Two vehicles I also just bought randomly because I needed to hit the 200 milli mark. Um, but let's head over to office garage number three. All right, so this entire office garage is actually not empty. There's one vehicle in it the regina the station wagon um yeah this is the only thing i really have in here i guess in office garage number three i knew i have i had one thing sitting in here i couldn't remember what it was but here it is and uh i will be using this vehicle i use this for uh what video um oh yeah robbing convenience stores with the worst vehicle in the game that is when i use this vehicle because um it is the slowest car i think statistically in the game if you were to actually like compare top speeds and accelerations so that's why i'm driving it to the next arena workshop uh, garage i know i have plenty of cars in there so 
uh, don't don't worry I got like at least 30 more cars to show you guys all right, so here we are in Arena Workshop, floor level one here. And there's a couple good vehicles I'm already looking at that I really love in this garage. Here's the Rampant Rocket. Grab our giant wiener deals. Uh, big wiener club. I think there's supposed to be something here. Maybe it's an MMI. I should have probably checked MMI. Uh, more mutual insurance before I made this video, but uh, yeah, that was kind of dumb of me. Uh, I remember customizing this vehicle for a uh, spending spree. What is this? The V, the VSTR, Albany VSTR. Yep, I do remember that. Here's another, the Immorgon. This is, uh, you get this from the casino. No, I'm thinking of a different vehicle. Here's a vehicle you get from doing all the casino missions. You get it with the guns. I think it's called the Paragon. I think that's what it's called. This thing's pretty cool. Matte black. Looks kind of nice. Looks kind of badass. Uh, this thing, this is a Sentinel Classic? A Sultan Classic. Sultan Classic. I do remember most of these vehicles, I should say, have been in Spenny Spree videos before. So, um, yeah, that's why I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember, I remember customizing that. I remember customizing that. Sorry if that gets annoying, but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this thing, the Kanjo. Do sticker bombing this bad boy out. At the white walls, looks pimping. Here's one of my favorite vehicles in the entire game. Big Hellcat guy in real life. The Hellfire right here. Uh, I love this vehicle. Very cool vehicle, not only in this game, but in real life. This game, this car is very good, very cool. Uh, here's this Honda Civic. Sue guy, Suggy, Suggy. Um, yeah, here it is. Nothing really special about this thing. Got a cool little livery on it. Um, this thing, what is this? The Krieger. I do remember upgrading this to Krieger Benefactor. Got a nice little livery. Junk. The quick fix. Um, don't do drugs, kids. On to the next garage level B1. Okay, I'm seeing some pretty cool things so far. Uh, the Moonbeam van. The uh, custom one from Benny's. This is a very pimp ride, and I got someone on the dashboard right there. He's like some hooper. Uh, what is this thing? Dominate. Oh, yeah, this is like the Mustang. Okay, yeah, yeah. I love this thing, too. Big Mustang guy in real life. Um, the uh, Arena Wars vehicles, some of them will be down here. Two or three of them right in here. Uh, the Scarab. Scab, I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the big tank thing. This thing is also pretty cool. The ZR380. I like this Arena War. The Arena Wars vehicles, very cool. Um, <laughs> very fun to drive around. Had some cool little special abilities and stuff, but they're so freaking expensive. Like these four vehicles, uh, yeah, four vehicles. They're probably like that's probably like twenty-five million dollars in here. That's an eighth, eighth of our entire like showcase tour. You know, two hundred million dollars. An eighth of that is probably these vehicles right here. Here's this thing. What is it even called again? Uh, the Shock Cerberus, big semi truck, Arena Wars vehicle. You already know it. Same with this thing, Death Bike, Arena Wars vehicle. Got the, I believe, the laser miniguns on the front of it. And the little buzz saws. Such, such cool vehicles. It so expensive and such a crappy DLC. We got the Vigilante here, the Batmobile. Love this because of the booster. The booster is what everything, everyone loves on this vehicle. It's like a freaking tank, too. And it's the freaking Batmobile. I mean, how can you not like this vehicle? The Batmobile sick. Zentorno. This doesn't look upgraded. So maybe I bought it for fun and didn't upgrade it. The Deluxo. Didn't even know I had a Deluxo, to be honest. Uh, I, this might not be upgraded either. And ooh, one of my favorites, the Scramjet. I love the freaking Scramjet, man. I love this thing so much. Uh, very fun vehicle to use. Got missiles. It's got like the jump thing on it, too. Very cool vehicle. On to the next garage level. And I believe I just recently filled this up with the recent spending spree video. Uh, here's this thing. This thing looks pretty cool. Little off-road vehicle. The, the Vagrant. Vagrant. Um, too bad there's not too many off-road um, like ways to ways to use it. It's really Mount Chiliad. And other than that, you don't really need an off-road vehicle. They're very good for traction if you're driving on the grass or dirt. But off-road vehicles don't get enough love because there's not too many like uh, off-road activities in a way, in a sense. Other than driving up Mount Chiliad, we got the Apocalypse Brutus, I think. Uh, I bought this and then didn't upgrade it to one of those things uh, for a spending spree video or something like that. Uh, this thing, Gauntlet Classic, beautiful car. Um, old. Oh, 
God, I don't know. Is it a cha old Challenger, I think? Old Challenger, Charger, one of the two. I know it's Dodge, that's for sure. It's one of the two. Oh, God, please don't roast me in the comments. <laughs> uh, this thing, uh, th I just recently, these two vehicles, I recently bought for, for a spending spree video, but then the uh, video got corrupted. So this is the first time you guys have seen it. The Grotti Itali RSX. Uh, comment, uh, SR, Porsche. Um, this is... What, this was my favorite vehicle in GTA 4 then the Turismo I think tur the Turismo in this game looks garbage but the Comet in GTA 4 was my favorite by far um, let's see here the Weevil and like I said I bought this for a spending spree video that I was going to post but the video got corrupted and look at the tires you put the transmission or uh, suspension all the way down tires like get all crunched up and it looks stupid <laughs> so maybe one day i'll put the suspension back up so it can actually look like a real car but uh other than that little herbie herbie car i thought it looked pretty cool i like the purple flame job i did on it very very funny looking vehicle one of my favorites though and the toretto the submarine car Tourette, Toredor, Tor, Toredare? I don't know rockstar i think just <laughs> i think they think of car names while they're playing scrabble and you know they just just make up words try and win scrabble i don't know uh this thing i definitely bought this thing recently for a spending spree video and i think that is it for all the arena workshop i think i have some more in the nightclub if not that might have been it so let me take a look at my nightclub and i'll see you guys there the nightclub vehicles the uh the pounder the mule and the speedo custom um I don't think I've upgraded any of these except for the Speedo. These these other two did not look upgraded, but I don't do any nightclub business because I have special ways of making money. If you get my just special black magic ways of getting money. So I don't really need to do my businesses, but I have spent a lot of money on my properties. I think I've probably spent $100 million on properties and businesses alone. But uh, I'm going to keep going through my nightclub levels and see if I have any cars randomly sitting here that I accidentally put. I never saw ever again so if i find any i'll let you guys know uh so far no luck and the last but not least i think my last vehicle in the entire uh video i'm gonna show off is the terabyte with the oppressor mark ii inside of course um this puppy's definitely upgraded um some other vehicles like pegasus hangar moc uh, avenger some facility weaponized vehicles all that kind of stuff um you guys have seen and you know you already know what it looks like. I thought it'd be fun to show off my car specifically because everyone's car is unique to them and how they want to upgrade it and customize it. Uh, you can't really do much with something like the, the planes and Avengers and helicopters and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I only showed off my cars. It felt kind of short, but keep in mind that probably wasn't exactly 200 mil. It was definitely in the up, upside of 100, 150 mil easily. Uh, a lot of money I've spent in cars and vehicles and crap in this game. It adds up very quickly. Like I said, those Arena War vehicles, super, super expensive. But uh, let me know, of course, if you guys want to see any more of uh, a tour. I can always, uh, you know, get some more money. I'm down to 36 mil, 38 mil. Uh, but I can always add more and buy some more vehicles. Uh, maybe you guys want to see off my properties. I've probably spent a lot of money on properties, actually. Let me check. Properties and utilities, $83 million. So, a $100 million uh, property tour, uh, business tour. That could be kind of fun. But let me know, of course. Um, thanks again for all the support recently on the videos. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.